what's up guys welcome back to the channel for another reaction video all right guys so i'll be checking out um louis ck roasting black people for eight minutes all right so his name was dropped in the comment section guys for me to check out so i can't wait to check him out so guys let's go <laughs> Why did the chicken cross the road? Because there was a black guy walking behind him. And he was, he was nervous. He was new to the city, this chicken. And he was like, I feel like he's following me, but I'm not sure. So then he thought, maybe if I cross the road, then if he crossed the road, he's definitely following me. So he crossed the road. And the black guy went home. He's living his life. And the chicken was like, I'm such a racist. And he felt, he felt bad. About a month later, a black guy ate the chicken. A uh, different black guy. I'm just telling you what happened. By the way, don't be upset, because this is not a racist joke. This joke is not racist. The chicken was racist. The chicken was definitely racist. But that's chickens. Chickens are very closed down and suspicious and prejudiced. You kind of can't blame them, considering that their species murder rate is 100%. That's why chickens are like, There's always excuses for racism, you know? Like, I met this guy from the South, and he was really racist, and I asked his friend, why is he like that? And his friend goes, oh, well, he was born on a farm. <laughs> what kind of farm was that, you know? <laughs> Maybe the animals were racist, uh -huh. you know? Because right now the animals are like, Jews! <laughs> So I have mild racism. It's benign. It's not aggressive. It's not even negative racism. It's mild racism. I'll give you an example. Okay, like, see? It's not benign. It's not negative. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's benign. It's benign racism. Like, if I go uh, to a, a pizza place I've never been to before, and it's run by four black women, I'll go like, uh, hmm. <laughs> see, it's very mild. It's extremely mild racism. I'll notice that. Yeah. You don't usually see that, four black women running a pizza place. Unless, unless it's called Four Black Girls Pizza or something like that. Like, that's the whole point of the place. About the Jew oh. thing, hey, I, I do yes. know where the where the term kite came from. By the way, ah, derogatory term it's for the, Jewish yes, people. I do, where I, that I do know where that came from. Where it is from when that, when people used to come uh, over on the uh, you know in the ships that, on Ellis Island, mm -hmm. <clears throat> a lot of people couldn't write English, so they used to make their mark, and the Jews' mark was a circle, and uh, the circle is called kikel. So that's what they were just shorten it to kike. The oh, guys oh, coming yeah? in and say, here's another kike once they've seen the, the, the circle. You know stamp. where Nigger came from originally? <laughs> there was some black guy being a nigger. <laughs> <laughs> so they called him a nigger. <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> Being a real nigger, and somebody said, "What a nigger," and that's where it started. It just was a, it was a feeling. Yeah. <laughs> Here's another example of mild racism. If I say I'm in a hospital and the doctor comes in to treat me, and the doctor's from China or India, I'll think, "Well, good, 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 more of that. Why not?" It's very mild racism. Here's another example. If I'm in a gas station late at night. And uh, a, young, a young man comes in wearing a hooded sweatshirt. If he's white, I'll think, oh, he's an athlete. If he's black, unless he has a big smile on his face, then I become mildly racist, and this is what I think. I think, that's fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> Nothing's going to happen. No, of course I'm fine. Why did I even think that for a second? <laughs> but people... I can't move on here. <laughs> See, like, unless the man is black with a, with a hoodie, unless he has a smile, if he doesn't have a smile, you start to think, really? He has to have a smile? He can't have a smile and be 
the bad one with a smile and the serious one can be like the one that's not evil of that intention whatever color or race <laughs> okay we're too afraid of harlem you know like everybody when you move to new york they they say oh, do you, oh you, you can't go to harlem because as soon as you get there they kill you <laughs> Just the way, as soon as you arrive, they stab you in the face. Uh -huh. <laughs> you just get murdered, which is stupid. I've been to Harlem, and people there, they have a lot of stuff to do. You know, they're busy. They're not just standing around waiting for lost white people to kill all day. <laughs> I do this. There's right outside a subway entrance. Going, come on! Come on! I just want to say I'm not trying to say that if you're white, you can't complain. Right. I'm just saying that if you're black, you get to complain more. <laughs> right. Right. Because... <laughs> <laughs> you can't. There you go. Don't, don't tell the band that. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 Because yeah. you can't. You get this right. You can't take people's like historical context away from them. And right. everybody wants this to. Like white people are always like, "Come on, it wasn't us." Like they want black people to forget everything. Like every year. White people add a hundred years to how long ago slavery was. Yeah. I've heard educated white people say slavery was 400 years ago. No, it very wasn't. It was 140 years ago. That's two 70-year-old ladies living and dying back to back. That's how recently you could buy a... <laughs> That's two 70-year-old lady living then back to back that's 140 it's not that long <laughs> what do you put it like that <laughs> like <laughs> just, oh man yeah, that's right. and it's not like slavery ended and then everything has been amazing <laughs> like it just oh, I'm glad that's over oh yeah it just ended like a clean where you don't have to wipe, just boom, and then it's just been parades and presents ever since. You gotta, you gotta remember that if you meet a black person, they have gray hair. They remember a time they weren't allowed to use a certain toilet. So give them a little, you know, time to be cranky. And by the way, white people have our own thing oh, that we uh, stuff okay. that we went through sure, sure. that that hurt us that we have to cope with. Like when they took our slaves away, that was really <laughs> hard for us, and we're still. So it's pretty even. <laughs> so, it's, so it's even. Yeah. It's even. <laughs> what was I expecting to say that? <laughs> so I'm saying it's pretty even because <laughs> they have to deal with being a slave and the whites have to deal with their slave being taken away. <laughs> oh, crap. <laughs> That's hilarious. All right. <laughs> I can't, mother. <sighs> um, seriously, because I did a show where they don't applaud when you go on stage. It's called uh, Mo Better Mondays. At, um, that's the name of the show at the Improv, Mo Better Mondays. It's an all-black audience. And I had done a show called Chocolate Sundays at the Laugh Factory, which is an all-black audience. And they invited me because they thought I was black because of my name because I directed Pootie Tang, so people sometimes think I'm black. And so they invited me to the to show. So I get there. And uh, they go, oh, hi. <laughs> and I look at her and I go, oh, hi. And then we kind of stand there trying to decide, and I go, fuck it, hi. And they go, yeah, hi, all right. <laughs> so I went on, and this is Chocolate Sunday, said the Laugh Factory, and it was fucking great. I had a great time because nobody else is trying. They're all up there just acting cool, and I went up there and I tried, and everybody appreciated it. So then, because um, most comedians don't try, I'm not saying because they're there or black, but they were all black and unfunny. Every single one of them was black. There are far more unfunny white comedians than, un than unfunny black ones, but every single comedian on that show was black and unfunny. Should have been the name of the show. <laughs> but I was white and hilarious. And also, you know. Privileged and uh, lucky to be white. Awesome. Uh, it is a very. It, everybody who's white should just wake up and go, I'm fucking white! This is great! This is great! How easy is this shit? I don't have to fucking explain myself ever. 
I leave people in the eye with confidence. Nobody fucks with me. Police protect me. It's amazing that black people, all they can hope from the cops is that they'll leave them alone. And we actually get to hope that they'll protect us. It's fucking a chasm of difference. On the, and I'm on the greatest side of that chasm. I'm on the fucking sweet side of that chasm. <laughs> This is my first time checking him out, guys. I'm new to him, but um, he's hilarious in some parts of it. We are find really ridiculously funny than some parts, you know. You're not gonna find all the part like ridiculously funny, but he's ridiculously funny. I enjoy it. I'm not gonna lie, I enjoy it, even though it was talking about racism. But I don't think he mean it in any like um bad way or he's a racist or anything like that i think it's just it that's just part of his whole act his comedy act and routine you know um giving you the old black joke and stuff like that all right guys yes i'll be sure to check it out more of his um comedy his stand-up comedy okay guys yes i hope you guys don't come with any negative negative comments about all racism and blah 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 you know i'm just taking it as it is like it's it's comedy you know it's just a stand-up comedy routine that he has you know yeah so i hope you all enjoy this guys i sure did and don't forget to live love and to laugh okay live love laugh all right so i catch you all in another video guys bye